Well, how's it going, everybody? Uh, we are already into attack, so hopefully you're having a great day. I've been finding some clouds, so I wanted to make sure that we get... Or at least start the recording. I was assuming I was going to find some clouds, so... It's going to be a little bit of a rough intro, but we are going literally straight in to the first attack. So, going in with the Candy Carts and the Baby Dragons. We've got a ground expo here, so our Battle Chopper is going to get some really good value up top. And all we have to do is just make sure that these can carts stay alive. That is the name of the game, right? Keep the can carts alive, and you will have great success. So, hopefully we do not find too many traps. We do get the Barbarian Guard Post Troop. Always be watching those. Perfect. And our battle chopper is going to be able to take out that ground expo, which is beautiful. Waiting to see if we can take out a couple more buildings. I think two more buildings and we should be able to get over 50%. Pop the locations of the Teslas. Got my baby dragons on standby. And holy smokes. We lose that cannon card. Alright, well... I was kind of hoping to save that cannon cart, if I'm honest with you guys. Really hoping to save as many cannon carts as possible, but... We are pushing up in trophies, so we will be facing some tougher opponents with better bases. No worries at all. So can we... At least have this baby dragon survive? With decent health? Yes, okay, perfect. So two cannon carts and one baby dragon. I can work with that. So let's take a look at the second stage. And then, okay, we got a firecracker upgrading. Nice. So we can send in two of the baby dragons to take out this right hand compartment. We can prep this left hand side with the cannon cart. I think this other side as well. Try to get to those arch towers. So then let's try and get a good angle with this baby dragon. Get it closer into the base. Get some splash onto the lava launcher. Beautiful. And activate ability. Perfect. We even took out that uh, firecracker. Nice. Alright, so let's deploy the other baby dragon on the cannon. Make sure the breath ability hits the love launcher, and then that baby dragon will start working around up top. So now number four can start cruising in. Oh, we got a Tesla there. Come on, baby dragon. All right, we're just going to really have to just send it in. Oh, number four. Run for your life, number four. Run. <laughs> wow, I think, I think we actually made it. I think we actually made it. Use the battle machine ability. Help take out the zappies. And we are looking pretty good here. Okay. A little bit of a nail biter. I think we versed this base, I think in a previous video. Took a different approach, which is nice. But it still worked out, so we get a very nice six star attack. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at the position. Not quite sure where we're at in the placements at the moment. Okay, we're number 520. So there you go. Around the top 500. So, on to the next base. And wow, we actually have another ground expo. Interesting. And lowered archer towers. Huh. This guy must get slammed by Pekka's. That's really the only reason, right? Like, why would you have ground expos and ground archer towers? Probably because you get slammed with P.E.K.K.A. So, we'll have our Battle Chopper up top. And hopefully it can take out the Roaster. Get some good value. We can start to prep the base with our other cannon carts. Oh, we found a corner Tesla? What the hell? What the hell? I haven't seen a corner Tesla in a long, long time. Okay, we got our battle chopper getting slammed by this Tesla. So we found two of the Teslas already. 
Interesting. I, c I can work with that. Okay, we get the... Let's use the Battle Chopper ability. Just so that we regain some health. So that we can hopefully take out the Roaster. Now let's try and directly target this Arch Tower. Take out the Lava Launcher. Beautiful. Move the number six a little bit closer. And our Battle Chopper barely survives and takes out the... Oh wait, we're within range. Okay, there. The Battle Chopper is going to take out the... Oh wow, and this baby dragon takes out the giant cannon? Holy smokes. Or not quite, but almost. Close enough. We use the Battle Chopper ability. Take that out. And I believe these cannon carts are safe. Very nice. Wow, we have a lot of troops remaining. I think that's just what happens when I... I think this base was set up to really be hard for P.E.K.K.A.s. And using this cannon cart strategy really, really cut it to pieces. So, since we have this battle chopper... I think we just use it to take out the guard post troops and the zappies. And then we'll use some baby dragons on this left hand side. Take out the... Multi-mortar, that whole section of the base. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'll wait for the elixir. Oh wait, are we... Might not actually take out the zappies since the... <laughs> the guard post troops pulled our battle chopper into the... The arch tower range. But I think we'll use another baby dragon because it actually will spawn the zappies. So we'll just use that breath ability to take it out. Perfect. So now there's not a whole lot of the base left. We only really have to worry about one more arch tower. And it is low health, so that is beautiful. Move in this cannon cart. Okay. Wait. Wait, don't kill it yet. We need to take out the arch tower. Oh no. That one push trap is causing a wrinkle. Come on, number six. You can do it. Okay. Oh, corner building. Oh, wait, we got 45 seconds. We should be good. Okay. A little bit of a crazy video. Very crazy. So, could have been a little bit smoother, but we did have hit that push trap, so. The idea was to send that cannon car in clear out all those buildings then two or three cannon cards could very safely take out that last archer tower but do get a six star attack so let's go in for one more try to make it three in a row that would be beautiful so what do we have here we've got air expo covering the left arch tower okay not a whole lot covering this giant cannon up top so I think I'll send in the bow chopper from that direction we will prep the other sides of the base with the cannon carts hopefully not run into too many traps but what I see here is that this lava launcher is kind of in between two archer towers so I think we could send in one baby dragon this bottom or this middle arch tower splash onto the lava launcher and then a second baby dragon I think onto this gold storage and then it should go for the lowered arch tower and that should work for taking out the lava launcher and we'll have one more baby dragon for this arch tower on the left hand side should be doing pretty good so let's okay start in with the baby dragons okay Two, three, and four. Perfect. Okay, we don't quite get the. Uh, okay, we still might have enough to get the uh, lava launcher. Beautiful. All right. So now let's very quickly here try and set up the rest of these cannon carts. Oh, this whole left hand side is completely clear. Beautiful. So we'll just let them roam around. We'll watch number five until it breaks into the base. And take out this roaster. Then we just have the. Mega Tesla remaining, so 
Make sure that we don't walk directly into its range. That would be no good. Number four and number five should be able to take it out. Number six can take out the Builder Hall. Perfect. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Somehow we did not hit too many traps with our cannon carts. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course we hit some bombs at the end. I always jinx myself. I always do. So. Very interesting layout. Alright, so. Too bad we don't have the battle chopper, because all these firecrackers are very exposed. Anyways, let's see if we can prep this base. And the goal is going to be to try to take out as many ground targeting defenses as possible. Because so we want to use two of the baby dragons to take out the lava, or not the lava launcher, the multi-mortar. That would be pretty sweet. So I think we can send one in on this elixir collector. We'll go for the double cannon, perhaps? Yes. Go for the double cannon. Get the splash onto the entire core of the base. It's beautiful. Now we can send our other baby dragon. I think it actually directly targets the mortar eventually. Okay, there it goes. Perfect. Take out that corner building with number four. Number six can actually cruise around with the uh, battle machine, help take out the the outpost troops and then four and five can take up those last two cannons and we should be looking pretty good here got the zappies popping out with the barbarian a little bit of a nuisance but now four and five have cleared the left hand side and we get a very nice six star attack so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe we're very close to 2,000 subscribers thank you guys very very much it means a lot to me and we'll be doing a Q&A video, so make sure to ask some questions in the Discord below. And then I'll be doing a uh, streaming setup reveal on how I make the videos and what kind of stuff I'm using. So until next time, take care.